to go pick up Beth from school, so I better get going so I'm not late, even though I do have a lot of work to do today. Hey, Bethy Boo. Um, I know you really like cookies, and I was going to try to make you more before you got home from school, but I ran it out, of out of cookie dough, and we kind of ate all the cookies after our little heartbreak session, you know? So, sorry about that, but did you enjoy camping? Yeah, but I don't think I want to do that again. <laughs> you know what? I can actually agree on that. Because um, it was interesting. But how was school? It was good. I learned about how rainbows happen. Oh, that's cool. How are they made? Because I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the real question is, did you see Forrest? Yeah. And don't tell mom, but he wrote me a letter. Look. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's read this. What, it, what does it say? Uh, B is for beautiful. E is for excellent. Because that's what you're. Oh, a little bit of spelling mistakes, but you know. T is for terrific. H is for helpful. Because you do my homework. You know, you know, Beth, maybe you should stop doing Forrest's homework so that he could actually learn to spell a little bit better. You know? <laughs> but you know, on the positive note, at least he knows how to spell your name. That is, that is a plus. It was a nice poem, I guess. Grandma, don't be mean. That's beautiful. Like me. Well, you're my granddaughter, so of course you're beautiful. But didn't he just break your heart? Ugh, that was so last week, Grandma. I just think you and Forrest should stay friends. You're young. If you still like him 20 years from now, you can go ahead and start dating him then. 20? I'll be dead by then. That's old. Uh... Excuse me? 20 is not old, okay? I am... I am not old. Okay, Beth? I am not old. Now, I'm gonna take you home. I'm about to disown you as my granddaughter. I'm just kidding. I love you. But anyway, I think your mom is home now, so I'm gonna drop you off there. Okay. Bye, Felicia. What did you just say? <laughs> wow. Alright, Beth's all good now. I bet you she is not doing her homework like she's supposed to be doing. You know what I just realized? Remy, Remy told me that she couldn't pick up Beth from school because she had work. But Remy doesn't have a job. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, I need to work on the village. And I don't feel like building walls anymore. Because that got kind of boring and tiring. And very repetitive. So I thought, you know what? I'll take a little break from that. And I'll start working on the layout of the house. Because I've been talking about doing that since I got to this village. And I still haven't done it. There's still like the separation of these people and those people. And we just want to bring them together. So I want to start building a path up here. So I can kind of start figuring out where I want these houses and stuff. So I have some nether rack with me. So I might try to do a layout there and stuff. I'm going to build little houses like these and stuff. I wish I could build a building for all the guards because I get tired of seeing them everywhere but we'll see about that so hi so, um who is that yes where oh oh hey there hey Zai what are you doing I'm just working on village stuff you startled me there oh can I help uh, maybe later right now I'm just making plans for where things are going to go and stuff so it's not much you can do but how have you been i haven't seen you in a while i've been good oh really because i heard that you've turned into a little heartbreaker i'm telling you now if you break Beth's heart i'm gonna break your face <laughs> just kidding maybe maybe not <laughs> um okay I need to go. I think someone's calling my name, but I wanted you to come to my party. <laughs> Boris, I was just kidding. But yeah, uh, when and where is your party? It's going to be by the river for my birthday. The river? Oh, uh, what river? The river near the village. Oh, the river over there? You sure you want to have your... Your party there? I mean, that river, I heard it's dirty and stuff, and like, the water is just, it's just gross. It's not really well kept, and yeah. It's not dirty, and it'll be fun. We can ride boats and stuff. 
uh, okay, I'll see if I can make it, but I might be really busy. Please, 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 I want you there, even though you scared me. I'll try my best, okay? Please, I promise. I promise to try my best to be there. Oh my gosh, I cannot go to that party. Like, we all know the history with that river. I cannot go to that party. None of us can go. Because I bet he's going to invite Beth. Which means that Remy and Richard are going to go. And we know who killed his mom. And we know that him and his mom, or me and his mom, did not have a good history. How the heck am I going to get out of this one? And then, and then, right, let, like, let's take the, Ka the Cali stuff away. Because, like, you could arguably say, like, oh, it won't come up, blah, blah, blah. But then, let's say he's going to invite all his classmates. He's going to invite that girl that he was, like, hanging out with. And then Beth's going to be heartbroken. And then her heart's going to shatter. And then I'm going to have to be the overprotective mom. And I'm going to have to, like, trip the other girl or something. And I don't want to have to do that. This is just getting so messy. How the heck am I supposed to tell this kid who, like, adores me, like I'm his parent, that I'm not going to go to his birthday party? But I cannot go. And then if Remy doesn't go, it's going to seem weird. Because Remy and I go everywhere together. I mean, I could talk to Remy and then say, like, oh, Remy, pretend you're sick or something. And then you don't have to go. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. So awkward. I don't know what I should do. I mean, maybe I could talk to Adam and see, like, because why the heck would Adam let him have a birthday party where they found his mom's dead body? That isn't right. I need to find Adam because this is weird. Adam, 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 where are you? He must be around here somewhere. Where could he be? Ah, there you are. Adam? I need to speak to you. Please, it's an emergency. Yeah, uh, Adam, we need to talk. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? No. Uh, but Forrest told me about his party. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna come to that? Adam, why would you let him have a party where his mom died? I mean, you found her body there. Don't you think that's weird? And of course I'm not going. I got accused for killing her, if you could remember that. You thought I killed her. And now you want me to go there for a party to dance on top of where she died. That's not right. Wait, you dance? And Forrest told me he wanted to feel close to her on his birthday, so I said okay. Well, I guess you really couldn't say no to that. Don't you think it'll be a little bit awkward if I go? No, it'll be awkward if you don't go and he'll be really upset. But Adam, there is so much bad history there. Ugh, I'll see what I can do. I might just stop by for a little bit and say hi and then leave early or something. Ugh, I am the queen of awkward. I have to go back to work. Even if I don't go, I still need to get for something for his birthday. And what do I get like a teenage kid? I don't know. Maybe I could get him like a sword. But it's that bad to give a child a sword. Because then like, what if he goes and kills somebody? Technically, I'll be responsible. Because I gave him that sword. The worst part is, uh, I'm going to feel really bad for not going. I feel like I need to go. <sighs> I feel like me going is going to come back and bite my bottom. And I don't want that. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to go and I'm going to drop off his present. And then I'm going to be like, oh, I've got to go. And, and then that's it. I did my duties as a good friend of Adam's. And, uh, and then Forrest can't feel too bad. Easy solution. Now, maybe I can get Adam to, I mean, not Adam, Ned to go with me. And then, because Ned's kind of like a little bit out there. And then it won't be so awkward because I have someone to go with. And then Remy's going to feel awkward. So we could all just hang out together. And then we're not like there by ourselves. I, I think that could be a good cover up. The only thing is I feel bad. I'm always using Ned to get me out of awkward situations. And that's not a nice thing to do. <sighs> la, la, la. 
maybe I could find a reason to leave the village that day or something. But the thing is, he told me ahead of time. Wait, he didn't tell me a date. He did not tell me when this party is. So maybe I could just say I didn't know what day and then I could get away and be like, oh, I decided to go on vacation or something. Oof. I'm going to have to go, aren't I? Am I a bad person if I don't? I just feel like none of us should go. None of none of my family should go. I don't think Beth should go, but then that's her classmate. And then if everybody goes from her school and she doesn't, she's going to feel like the odd one out. And then she's going to feel like she doesn't fit in and stuff. I'm going to go. I made up my mind. I'm going to this party. I'm going to go to this party and we are going to go visit Callie's grave. Is there anything even over, like over there right now? I can't remember if I've been there since the whole incident. Since Remy. Huh. Surely they've like moved everything away and hid it. They must have if they're planning to have a party there, no? Let's find out. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's where... That's where her body was buried. And it's just open like that? Is Adam not smart? He was just gonna leave... Why would he just leave that there like that? I want to make sure there's nothing else around here. I guarantee I find like a murder weapon or something around here. My gosh. Adam... What's he gonna do? Just leave that open for for forest? That's weird. That is so weird. I don't like it one bit, but that's where he wants to have his party.